Better players are often given the difficult decision of sacrificing distance for feel and looks, and vice versa. Beautiful blade. Feels mint, sounds mint, but falling short. Compared to a chunky monkey iron, which goes for miles. Well, Titleist appear to have addressed this common issue. They've taken their popular T100 iron into a dark room, knocked it around a little, and this is the end result. That's right, we now have a T100S. There it is. I did say in the original T100 review that I could game them, but after thinking about it, it was missing that thing. That scared you, didn't it? And that thing is probably distance. If there was a weakness to that iron, thinking about it, a bit of clarity, it was probably the distance of it. Welcome the T100S. It's completed Fight Club. It's passed all Mr. Miyagi's challenges, meaning that this iron can wipe on and it can also wipe off. It, it, it's designed to do everything. Imagine a wall in the garden. You've got one side this chunky distance iron, the other side is this thin forged blade. Well, this is now standing on the wall above everyone, giving them the bird. Or is it? This thing can definitely talk the talk, but can it walk the wall is the question. It appears so. Probably thinking that went miles for a seven iron. Well, it's not, it's a six. Still though, taking nothing away from this, that was still a long way for a six iron. Just saying. I like the sound of it, that is for sure. Hi. I'm not gonna talk too soon, but it seems to be very consistent, which is a tick. So move the green back a little bit. I love that. Love that. I need to go back a little bit further with the looks of it. You know I'm very honest with you guys. When I first heard about this, I literally thought, well, it's going to be the same iron. I've heard they were a few degrees, two degrees stronger. Is that it? Just put an S on it and now it's a brand new iron. But when you actually delve deeper into this and get your facts right, so yes, it is two degrees stronger, but it also has a new leading edge, a new sole design, and a completely different CG location to accommodate for those stronger lofts. I have nuked that into someone's garden. Pull it out. That's like a 225 carry. No, it's not. It's a 230 carry, obviously. And tungsten weighting is using the heel and toe to increase MOI and obviously overall stability of the iron. I was like, what's next then? Is it the T100X with three degrees stronger? Brand new iron. It looks delicious, it does. Not sure the word delicious has ever been used in golf before. Now it has. Did, I did that on purpose to even out the averages of the last one. That's good, it, it, does, it, does, it does go right if you want it to. So I hit this earlier, I'm not gonna lie, I've really enjoyed hitting this iron and my accuracy has been literally pinpoint until this. <laughs> big pull, big block. Cheers. Like that. I'll have it tendered. <laughs> Very nice. 220 carry on that one. Yeah, not bad, is it? So I've actually got the pitching wedge to try, which I'll put on the end of the video, um, see how much spin we can generate and try and haul one. It's not gonna happen. So I have been blowing smoke up the arty head. The head's quite arty. I do have one big negative to say about this iron, and that was the timing of release. If I was a better player, used to fall in that category, definitely don't now. And I needed more distance, and I ordered the T100s already, and I'm already gaming them, and this comes out, I'd be pretty annoyed. I don't know if that's an over-exaggeration, but strengthening the lofts of your T100 obviously isn't gonna suffice. You see the changes in CG location of this iron 
allow it to fly like the number on the bottom of the iron and not like the degree of the iron. That's the whole idea. The ultimate test, however, is a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, the S versus the T100 to see the distant gains maybe with the S and how it's flying in relation to the standard T100. If you want to see that, comment down below, T2T. Yeah, hashtag T2T for toe-to-toe. You can still miss it, which is great. That was a bad swing. The thing is, is, is this saying this is a better model? Who now falls into the T100 bracket? Everyone wants to hit it further. And if this is saying it's got the same ball flight characteristics, whether it has or hasn't, who falls into the standard T100? Would anyone get that if this was out with it? That's the question. Hook for days. Right, last one before we look at the numbers and move to the wedge. Time to hold one. I like that swing actually. The shapes. Spin, feel, distance, sound. Seems to tick all the boxes. I like this iron a lot, I really do. It's forged, it's clean looking. It has decent ball speed numbers, it's relatively forgiving. But this is the all-in-one for the lower end of the handicap spectrum for sure. I don't really know what more you want from the numbers, to be honest. I mean, this is carrying 220 yards on average. Club head speed of 100 mile an hour, ball speed 141. Six iron, remember. Backspin 5999. 6,000 RPM. Six iron. Argue that the lofts are more like a five iron, six iron backspin. That is basically what Titleist wanted to achieve, and it appears with me that's what's happened. Righty ho, pitching wedge. I put this down at 160 yards. No idea how far this is going to go, if I'm honest. I'm just interested to see how it spins. If it does at all. That just popped a little bit, that did. Oh, 9,415. Sorry. Try and get one moving left to right. Ideally start it left though. Maybe an increase in spin, 9848. Not the greatest of strikes there. It's consistently mid nines, like a full shot in. I mean, what more do you want from a pitching wedge? And if you tend to favor the left to right ball flight, there's a good chance you're probably gonna see well into the 10,000s. That was a terrible strike. That'll be like eight. It was very turf first, just in the nines. Here we go, there's your 10. 10, four. Nine, eight. <laughs> so guys, that is the title, it's T100S. I was impressed. So all that's left to say really is thank you as always for watching. If you're not a part of the team our community, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and of course the bell notification, otherwise you won't get notified of any videos, which is shocking. And follow us on social media, the links are below, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you.